hello thank you for joining me here if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet kindly click on the subscription button for more updates in this video we have formation of differential equations how do we form a new differential equation when we have been given another equation to be used so we have the differential equation y equal to a sine x plus b cos x where the letters a and b uh, call the arbitrary constant the first step and the first thing you should know is that the number of constants in the given differential equation will determine the number of times that you differentiate the equation so since we have two arbitrary constant a and b we will differentiate the differential equation twice or the equation given to us two times so let's start i would Say that the equation given to me was y equals a sine x plus b cos x. So now I'll differentiate this one with respect to x. So first I'll differentiate this equation. Let me name this equation star. Then I'll say that dy dx. When I differentiate sine x, what do I get? I get cos x. So I'll get my a cos x. And when I differentiate cos, I am getting minus sign. So minus b sign x. And this is the first derivative. Now, I said that the trick you should know is that because there are two arbitrary constants, you differentiate the equation twice. So this time, we will differentiate this the second time. I get in the square y over dx squared. Second derivative equal to when I differentiate cos, what am I getting? I'm getting sine. So we are now differentiating this one. I'm getting minus a sine x. If you still don't get this, the differential of a cos will give you minus sine x. So that is it. The constant is already there. So I'll rewrite it. When I differentiate sine alone, I'll get cos x. So there's minus b here. So I have minus b cos x. So now I have minus a sine x minus b cos x i am done differentiating the equation twice so the next thing i have to do is to look at it and manipulate it so when i look here i have negative here negative here so i can factorize negative one outside by getting the square y over dx squared giving me minus one a sine x plus b cos x so this is what we have now we can look at this very critically and see if we can do something about it again now we can see that everything inside this bracket is the same as a sine x plus b cos s is the same so we can say that everything here is equal to what y when you look at this it is a sine x plus b cos x which is similar to whatever we have in equation star so therefore i can put in equation star into what the second derivative so i'll say that but y from here y equals a sine x plus b cos x so now i can substitute this inside by saying the square y all over the x squared will give me minus one into bracket y so i am getting the square y all over the x squared giving me minus y so i can rewrite this by saying this is giving me the square y all over the x squared plus y equals zero so now i brought this one here and this will be my final answer so i have formed a new differential equation in the second derivative giving me the square y over the x squared plus y equals zero so this is my new equation that i have formed so this is what i've been given to us and we are told to form a differential equation from this function before i can do this i need to change the equation in terms of uh, i need to change it into a linear equation so that i'll be able to differentiate it simply what i mean is that before we can do this there's a fraction here i need to rewrite this so i can rewrite this same equation as y equal to x plus a x is the power minus one so now this is very simple for me because i can differentiate this now how many arbitrary constant do we have here 
we have only one which is a that means we will differentiate the equation once only once so let me name this one equation star you can also name it any form of equation you want so let's differentiate this side we have dy dx we are differentiating y with respect to x equal to the differential of x is one because the power here is one one times x one minus one will give us one x with the power zero anything to power zero is one so we have one one minus a x minus two so this is the derivative of this side you multiply this whole place by negative one and you subtract one from the power giving you minus two now i need to change it back to the original form it was in this form so i'll rewrite this by getting dy dx equal to one minus a all over x squared so when we get here we are not done all we need to do is to locate the original function given to us y equals x plus a over x because there is an a here we want to get rid of this a and so therefore let's make a the subject here and we substitute it here so that we form a different function getting rid of the constant so now from equation star i have y giving me x plus a all over x i want to make a the subject of the equation i want to make this one stand alone so i can get y bring the x here minus x giving me a over x the next thing i'll do is that i can cross multiply here to get y minus x times x giving me a so therefore a equals x into bracket y minus x so now let's name this one equation one so we move on to the derivative that we did where we got to wherever we see a we substitute this one so that we can form the new differential equation so i'll get my dy dx being equal to one minus into bracket um let me put the x here x y minus x so we divide the whole result by x squared now we are all aware that this x here can cancel one of this so i will get dy dx giving us one minus y minus x all over x now to make the equation linear we can multiply through by x so i multiply this side by x this side by x you do not show this in exams and this side by x so now i am getting x dy dx x times one will give me equal to x this will now take care of this so i'm getting minus into y minus x so i can expand this side by getting x dy dx giving me x minus y plus x this time this will give me plus x so i'm getting x dy dx being equal to this plus this will give us 2x minus y and this will be my final answer so you should remember the number of constants will determine the number of times you differentiate but this rule you cannot apply it every time if this video was very helpful kindly subscribe to this channel this is Twitter thing and see you in my next video.